Here we have the two youngest teams in the competition. Southampton have got four players in their squad, age 19 and one age 20. Looking at the names, you could almost call that the Wallace connection, couldn't you? As for Middlesbrough, they've got eight players in their 10 of 23 years of age or under. This is their first ever experience of Soccer 6. And for this match, Southampton revert to their normal colours of red, playing from left to right. It's Middlesbrough in blue, and away we go. With number eight, Mark Brennan for Middlesbrough, to Bernie Slaven, number seven. Played across for Tony Mowbray. Well, we'll see how Middlesbrough adjust to this small-sided game. They've been uh, looking forward to it, I know that. This is Slaven. Mowbray well forward. And also Gary Pallister on the surface to start with, two tall defenders. Here's Brennan. Slaven. This is right out. Good run by Paul Rideout, not a bad effort either. And here's Bernie Slaven, across to Mark Brennan. Now then, Southampton have failed to keep a player in the Middlesbrough half. That's going to be a sin bin offence. So Middlesbrough have a man to spare, Mark Brennan on the ball. And played wide for Bernie Slaven. 1-0 Middlesbrough. The goal has been given, Bernie Slaven tucked that away nicely and a handy goal scorer at the best of times, he's given Middlesbrough the lead here. Well they've earned that Middlesbrough, they've had more of the game. Letitia, oh an equaliser surely, yes it is! Glenn Cockrell bundled the ball in for Southampton, straight from the kickoff. it's 1-1. Letitia using the boards intelligently, and Cockrell gets the touch. This is an eventful match. You can just see here how you can use the plexiglass to good effect. And there's the man following up, the captain Cockrell. Stuart Ripley on the ball for Middlesbrough. Here's Slaven. Ripley again, this could be a chance. Look where Tim Flowers was, way out, just closing down the shooting space. Number eight, Brennan. Now here's Alan Kernahan, number five, and Ripley. Cannons off uh, Russell Osman. And back onto the field, or the arena anyway, comes uh, Paul Rideout. One minute left in the half. Mark Berg. Now a break for Southampton with Glenn Crockett. The TCA's gone to the left, and here is Rodney Wallace. The TCA. Rodney Wallace again, number five. Middlesbrough have possession again with Ripley. That's not a bad ball, and Kernahan just wide from Alan Kernahan. We're coming to the end of the first half. That's right out. You had to shoot early because the hooter was about to go, and the half time score between the two junior teams in many ways as regards age anyway is Southampton 1 Middlesbrough 1 just bear in mind here that Southampton have to go for the win in order to stay in the competition they lost their first match to Arsenal score here 1-1 and there's possibilities for Middlesbrough at the beginning of the second half Gary Pallister well up in the attack Number three there was Osman, this is Wallace. It's Rodney Wallace actually, this one. <laughs> and the shot by Rideout, and Danny Wallace was on the end of that. Couldn't quite steer it in. Russell Osman. Wallace, this is Danny. Number eight is Neil Madison, who's just come back on. And here's Glenn Cockrell. Danny Wallace. 
good run by Danny. Well, that's a super goal. That's just what Soccer 6 is about. Skill and invention from Danny Wallace. Saw the opening, and just look how he moves here into the gap. And that's what you call a cool finish. Southampton have taken the lead at 2-1. Danny Wallace has done his team a favour there. The England international. Here's Rodney Wallace. Up to Danny again. Back with Rodney. Neil Madison, 19 years old. Good shot and a good save. And Wallace followed up. Rodney Wallace put the pressure on the defender there. And Southampton have gone 3-1 up. Well, this is a good effort from distance and, well, I think Rodney might well claim that, poking his foot through at 3-1. Plenty of pace in this match. And uh, Southampton with Neil Madison. Glenn Cockrell's come back on. It's Madison again, that's a good bit of play. Rodney Wallace, what a good finish again. Well, the Wallace boys here are doing Southampton a real favour. They've turned the match round in sparkling fashion in this second half. Neil Madison, a good ball to his left, and here's Rodney Wallace to just send that one into the far corner. Middlesbrough up against it now, to say the least. 4-1 down and under two minutes left. Number nine here is Mark Burke. Now it's Parkinson. There's one back here, possibly. No. Well, there may still be. Oof. Tim Flowers is uh, doing a good job in the goal for Southampton. Gary Parkinson. Alan Kernahan. Oh, way away. Way away. That was 20-year-old uh, Gary Parkinson with the shot. Well, as you can see, we're into the last 20 seconds here, and it's Southampton handsomely placed at 4-1 up. In a match they had to win to stay in the competition, Bernie Slaven, two balls on the arena at once. One's been picked up by the referee, but it won't matter now because that's the final position. A really good recovery by Southampton, who went one down, but finished up winners by four goals to one. Southampton's win puts them level on points with Arsenal in Group F.